Well, good day, folks. Welcome back to Oklahoma for another interesting episode here. Uh, what is now episode number ten, I think. Double figures. Well, hey, why are we looking at these? Hmm. Um, what I've went ahead and done, guys, is um, I put up in the transfer courses a course from the main farm to the shop. Why? Uh, it's time to say bye bye to these. They've just. <coughs> we've just outgrown like, them. 95 horsepower tractors. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, farm to shop. While I'm here, I just move that one. You get a bit of a sneak peek. There. Bye bye. Yeah, you don't need refueled, you're getting sold. Um Bye bye. Went ahead and we've done a bit of purchasing off screen as well. Um Yeah. So you'll have seen that we bought this bad boy. Um we bought one of these plows. We've upgraded our gravity wagons to the M boys, but We've also bought a Challenger! Yay! Why a Challenger? <coughs> um, why not? We don't really use it. And keeping with uh, trying to use stuff we haven't used before, I thought, yay, Challenger! Challenger! Yes! So, but today, guys, is a day of shame. We should all hang our heads in complete and utter shame. Uh, why? There's a six R on the map. Not just one, but we'll have another one as well. <sighs> yeah, we bought John Deere. Why did we buy John Deere? That sort of goes with this thing. Yeah, we haven't used it before. The class we use too often, so yeah, we bought it. Uh, the thing on my right, but um, we'll explain to that when we get to it. First of all, though. If we look at the map, we've also bought field 51. Uh, as you can see, it's ready to harvest, but we'll go to that in a minute. But we need to pop down here to our other John Deere. So there's the second 6R, and we bought a bigger Coleman grain tank for it. Why? To keep up with this thing. <laughs> the CR1090 on steroids. Oh, yeah, we've already used it. Um, this is dirt from using it to clean one or to, to harvest one field. Um, yeah, we needed a bigger tractor and a bigger green wagon to keep up with that. Uh, what else have we been doing? Um, yeah, user are selling. We jump out here and we run over this way. You'd have seen the DB90. Corn should give it away after what I've just shown you. Yeah, we're going to the BGA. Um, we do have a new purchase down here too. What is our new purchase down here? A neighbor? No, only joking. The Massey you've seen. That's our Massey we've had from the start. With the level and fork. But, what else did we buy? We bought a JCB! Yes, all wheel steer. Weights, buckets, you name it, we've got it. Uh, it's not articulated, as you can see. It's an all-wheel steer. Uh, I've already went ahead and uh, recorded the bunker leveling course and the bunker emptying course, which is why we have that. Now, you're going to ask me why did I buy that so soon since we have nothing to empty it. It's just easier doing the empty course when there's nothing in there. So, without further ado actually no we will we'll wait because I want to go to the shop yes we're going to buy something else we've took the Massey away from the farm so we're going to need a tractor to replace the Massey on the farm we could always use the 8700 the green version mm. or we've used it before though 
We've used that before in Nook Creek. We used it quite heavily in Nook Creek. So what I was thinking... Oh, there's a challenger. Mm, too big for the farm. Cow farm. Saddle track. Too big just to use for a cow farm. Homer. Mm. Uh, we're avoiding them nasty green ones. Because we're going to go for the Black Edition 8700. Max it out. We're just going to go wire tires. Okay, so that is 400 horsepower. So let's jump into it. We'll add it to the group switcher to keep Jeffrey happy. So 400 horsepower is group four. And this is going to be uh, a tractor we use a lot down at the, uh, the cow farm. Oh, right, you're there. Don't know why it crashes into the building. The course stops nowhere near there. That is a cool wee chaser bin, by the way. I mean, if, if we had a smaller farm, smaller fields, and we're keeping it small, I would definitely keep that. That is absolutely fantastic wee bin. It's just not big enough for these combines and the size of fields. Can't keep up. So, we get this sold. Bye bye MB track. We still have one on the farm though, which is uh So we're having to get rid of all our MB tracks. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, oh, which one is it? It's this one here and this one here. Ah, uh, there you go. Don't know why it did that. <laughs> These are nice wee tractors too. So say, we've just like grown them, big style. And they're not able to keep up with the. The racing combines on the field, so I think the Fords might be next, but we'll we'll see about that. So Black Edition eighty seven hundred is our new uh, vehicle for the cows for the animals. Shortcut. We have a lot of stories to sell as well, I mean, we are going to sell, um, the sort of next field I want to buy is in around field 6, uh, I want to get that one as soon as, um, you know, there's not that many days left until FS19 and uh, I don't think anybody's going to be interested in watching this after FS19. Um, just looking at the comments quickly, Ryan Clark was saying, definitely check out Thomas McConsell's High Speed Popular Harvest. Hey, my own advertising service. Thank you, Ryan. He was also saying, excellent video as always. Definitely agree that I'm beating the so-called Master Race with the Mothership thing and the pushy button thing and also the rat thing that controls the pointy thing. I understand totally what you mean, Ryan. Yes. Who needs a pointy thing and the rat and the Mothership things? We have surpassed the Master Race on uh, Welker Farm. Uh, did run into a small problem with Welker Farm uh, that I accidentally deleted an episode. Uh, so, you know, there is going to be a gap between, you know, what you see me doing last and what you see me do next. But I will. <laughs> Just me being me. Got plenty of poop. We're gonna have to fill the greenhouses at some stage too. Let me get a bit of a fast speed video out of that. It's just that uh, because we skipped to get ready, the um, the cows are in need of everything. So yeah, we'll uh, get around to that at some stage. Water's still working well. And uh, oh, I have to show you this. I was transporting the uh, 
the uh, liquid manure up from the soy milk factory when I've seen this. And this I thought was brilliant. So let's uh, let's get closer in here where we can fill. Oh yeah, liquid manure. Now that is nothing compared to what this says on the back. Caution: This trailer contains political promises. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. <laughs> Why am I filling it? Um, the tank over there beside the shed is uh, able to store more, so we'll just move it over there for the time being. Uh, poop will transport over to the uh, mass storage at some stage, so I can um, uh, fill the greenhouses. Uh, we're up to 63 cows now. Yay! Do have to fill this as well. Uh, we haven't really emptied any more out of that. But, we need to go and record a course for this boy. He is going to be emptying our uh, forage harvester. And he's going to be on that working mode, I believe. We're just going to take it over to somewhere near the BGA. No, actually, no, we're not. We're going to take it down here and start this course. Why am I starting it so far away? It's the shape of the field. If I'll start up there. I won't recognize the combine when it's down here, or the, the harvester when it's down here. So we have to start it down right here somewhere. Uh start the course recording. I know I've got the trailer running behind me, but it's just so I can see, uh, make sure I don't catch it on any of the uh, corners as we go around here. And we will be dropping the trailer to record the rest of this course um, when we get near the bunker. Ram was also saying, uh, oh yes, don't stop, don't stop, hey hey, excellent choice of music. Um, if you ask me, it's making a comeback. Excellent high speed video, and uh, nice of me to choose Jeffrey's favorite type of music. Oh, Jeffrey loves it. We're gonna go round a big long loop around here. Why have I picked such a small trailer? One that matches the color, and uh, two. It um, it's very tight up here though for for um, reversing and stuff. So I'll get it as close as possible. I'm gonna drop the trailer here. Get it up right close to this. Then I'm gonna put it in the reverse. I don't know if this is gonna work too well because. We'll have to really make sure that the trailer gets it. We're going to set a, an unload point here. Take it out of reverse. And we're going to drive out. Now I'm going to pause the course so I can go back and get the trailer. <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll scroll some more comments so we can get around here. Uh, Josh was saying on the last episode there, episode 9, uh, so peanuts for field 6 then. Um, another entertaining episode as always. Uh, thank you. Um, and how much do you hate me wanting me to do the peanuts on field 6? Ah, some... F there is some amount of uh, yield of peanuts, man. we would be running back and forth about 20 million grain carts for that. On pause, drive forward. Uh, Farming Simulator Squad was saying great video. Uh, thank you. Uh, again, I don't know which of these comments I've read and which I haven't because obviously, as I said, I had a problem that I deleted an episode, so I can't remember where I got to in the comments. So if I repeat some of them, um, I do apologize. Joseph said on episode 9, 1525, some people say no cop, no stop. Some people do California stops, which I'm not sure what a California stop is. 
Uh, Thomas, you just run over them. Yeah, I know. I wasn't wearing my glasses. Um, so we're going to save this as a, a field 51 tractor BGA1. And I'm just going to hit you to drive the cures. Now, let's run back to the farm. My console of the corn again! Woohoo! Woohoo! Let's get the, uh, what is this? This is, uh, 8800i, John Deere forage harvester. Oh, we drive out, don't reverse into anything. Oh, cause it's Oh, there's some funky collisions in that barn, I'm telling you that. And we reverse and we log onto this thing. And this is the reason why I'm hoping that we're only going to need one, uh, one harvester. So if I open this up, I'll fold it. So this one. I'm gonna put this up for a start as well. Right, so we're unfolding it. Uh, we need to drop down. No, keep you there. We need to drop this down so the forest harvester hits it. Yeah, we look at a John Deere as well. Ah, might as well. It's uh, it's catching, isn't it? It's the same. Uh, keep how yet trailer work light on and off. What the? What was that? Ah, okay. And we want to go overload mod, overload mod mode on. So, let's get back to our harvester. Let's take you out to the field. We're going to put this on course play as well. Because a hard worker just doesn't work with these things. Oh, we want to go that way. So, this is field number 51. So, this is field work. Field number is 51. Working with his 9 meter header. We'll do three headlands. Going the right way. Uh, return to the first point. Yeah, because I'm not driving halfway across a field. Generate that, please. So we're taking our while. Oh, it didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. So if we bring this out and line it up, hopefully that will be us good to go. So save it first of all. Field 51, 9 meter forage. I should remember what that is. Okay, we're going to play from the first waypoint, drive course. Ah, you're not going to recognize the trailer, are you? Ah, it's not recognizing the trailer. Well, that's okay. Stop driver. Drop the trailer. Drive the course. No. Uh, that's a shame. Um, Let's uh brush you a bit. Might have to put a second one of these up and go on now. <sighs> That's a shame. I really thought that would have worked, but I suppose we'll have to move it off the field. Um 
Oh, we've got a tractor over here, have we? And we'll use this one. I was really hoping that would have worked, actually. <sighs> oh well. Course plate doesn't recognize that. That's uh, interesting to find out. I'll just park it over here for now. I'm gonna grab the chaff out of it before I sell it again. <coughs> I'm disappointed with that actually. I really am. I thought it was gonna work. Eh yeah, well. Years have stopped already. John Deere's, eh? This works with class, okay? Let's see if it picks up the tractor again. Combine is telling you to stop. Why? Why is the combine telling you to stop? Oh, it's started already. Derbiness has started. You want to be on the inside, don't you? He does. He wants to be over here, look. Eh. Let's go ahead and get another setup for this. We're going to need it. Eh. We'll stick with the 6R again, I think. We'll just bump it right up. No, not twin wheels. Just wired. And um, we'll, go, we'll go grab another E-Fortuna. I mean, we'll go to the shop at some stage and get it, I'm sure, when, uh, you know, course play decides to work. Typical John Deere. Do you know what? I think we'll stick with this for a run anyway, just to make sure it tips properly. It should be nearly full. And you're going to drive into trees. Yes, of course you are. Why not? Trees are for driving into. Right, course play? What? Oh, oh yeah, yep, yeah, told ya. Trees are for driving into. City, we're just going to stick through this one through the first run just to make sure it works. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, Joe was also saying that I should create a course to go from one farm to another. Well, we're sort of doing that as we go along, Joe. Sort of doing that as we go along. Um, as and when needed, really. Uh, again, Joe was saying at 2.38, um, I was playing chicken and I won. Nah, man, course play wins. Course play always wins. Um Okay, you were also saying there, Joey, that you love the class, but the dominators are just so small and slow. They are, yeah, that's why we got rid of them. None of them left. Um we were using the Mega by the way, not the Dominator, the Mega, but yeah, I understand what you mean. Um Sammy Lewis was asking, does anyone know where I can get the Busters contracting buildings? Unfortunately, Sammy, they are a private mod. Um Therefore, the Busters community on the RDL and TeamSpeak. Um, you can always pop on and uh, join in with the community there. Uh, just check out of RD any of RDL's. Uh, we're going to get weighed. 
any of Artie Allen's uh, videos, uh, multiplayer videos, you can get Team Shook dresses and stuff. Okay, we're gonna get weighed every time we come in, apparently. I'm gonna turn this off. Uh, let's get rid of the course play window. Let's see how it works. There's our JCB. Oh, this might actually work pretty well. Oh, oh, yes, keep going, keep going. That's it, keep going, keep going. Go on, course play, you can do it. Course play can do it. Are we doing it? We're doing it, we're doing it. Haha, <laughs> course play. Congratulations, course play. Is it going to empty everything? And away it goes back to the tractor. Sweet! Uh, let's start our leveling course. Uh, so we go back to the BGA courses. BGA level bunker 1. Then drive that course, please. <coughs> Is the Massey doing it? The Massey's gonna do it. Might actually leave that on one just for the minute. Um, no, we'll put the second one. Might as well go and get the second one. So, again, let's get it into Grip Switcher before Jeffrey shouts. And get it across. I'm getting back there now. I honestly th really did hope that that uh, cargo thing would have worked. I really am uh, disappointed now. Oh well. More shame. Third John Deere. Maybe we'll just make John John Deere f uh, a farm number to a John Deere farm. There you go. There's an idea. And then just, uh, you know, not even look at it for the rest of it, just, you know, the recordings. Man, this is slow work. Day, 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 day. Two hours later! Well, it couldn't be two hours later because the John Deere would have been broke down by now. Oh! Let's see. Uh, get a console game from Ryan, in case you can't tell. I'm certainly getting more popular at this elaborate wood chipping. <laughs> yeah, we love the wood chipping. Country living. Petrol station. Gas station. We're in America. Certainly a big drive from one field to another. I suppose I did happen to choose the other corner of the map, didn't I? That that was just because the field was closer to the uh, the bunker. So yeah, let's get this one ready to go with course play anyway. So. Uh, field fifty one. Oh, we didn't save the, the course, did we? Uh oh. Okay, we can't get this one going yet. Oops. That's straight down the bottom. Ah, oh, tractor to BGA. There it is. 
Ooh. Concentrate on driving. Duh. Uh, see any more comments that we haven't read, maybe. No, I think that's it. So as you can see, we've got field 7. All our fields are ready again. Field 7 here is canola. Field 49 again is soybeans. Field number... Two is oats again, I think, and field number three is sunflowers. I haven't done sunflowers yet, so why not? Um, because I went ahead and skipped some time to get the this ready to go, and um, they're all ready to uh, ready to harvest. So you can tell what the next couple of videos going to be, and uh, what I'll do as well is. Um, on the next recording, we'll, we'll just start some uh, cell courses as well, because we have a lot of crops there we can get sold and start aiming towards buying some bigger fields. You know, as I say, I would like to get field six, but I think it's about, uh, I say about six millions or something, maybe six million. Not sure, I can't remember, but we'll see. Um, <coughs> feeling that in, you know, we'll get some more fields closer to the farm stuff as well, and uh, maybe build it up that way. Two hours later, the John Deere has made the farm. Through the mud puddle! Yay! Love mud puddles. I'll tell you, that TB60 is the slowest planter I have ever used in my life. Play that. First waypoint. Drive the course. Thank you very much. No, stop. Nearest waypoint. Hopefully that means that you don't, uh, don't think that you have to run the full course. So let's pop back. What are you doing waiting there? Oh, it's going to wait there. Ah. Oh. Oh no, we're going to have a problem here. It's going to try and dump when this is in the bunker, what do you see? No, you're waiting. Good, John Deere. This is going to go through a... Uh, I've set the blade width here to 7 meters. Hopefully that will work. Uh, that's what I used at the cow farm anyway. So, we'll see how that goes. I still saw some chaff on the blade, that's interesting. Uh oh. Here comes the other one. It's empty though, isn't it? It is, it's empty. It has to be empty, they couldn't have filled it that quick. Three miles per hour. Mm. Not good. The other reason why I would pick the smaller carts as well is that the <laughs> it seems the, f the course plate does seem to favour you know the smaller ones that make it you know it does a better job when you you're dumping smaller loads in. So hopefully we should see uh, the results of that. So come on you, come around dump. Here it comes. Is that one just going to sit there? I think it is. You're going to get in the way, aren't you? No. Come on. Hurry up. Dump. 
There you go. I think we'll take the uh, that off that just for the sake of watching this. There it goes. Is it going to stop and let that one come through? Is it? Don't you? We should go cut the roof, are you? No. So let's nip around, have a look and see what this. Make sure this is working properly. And then it looks like that is going to be it for this video, guys. that's going to work out perfect anyway guys look at the time that's going to be it for this recording uh, don't forget to hit the like and the share button subscribe if you already haven't done so and thank you very much if you have done so and I'll see you all in the next episode then bye bye